So I'm sat here in the middle of Bookham Common in Surrey as uh, part of a um, training exercise for Surrey Search and Rescue. So we're training one of our search dogs today, search dog Woody, and um, I am one of the people he's trying to find. It's what we call a dog's body. Um, so I'll give you an idea, I'll turn the camera around here to show you just how in the wilds I am. But actually I'm only 29 metres of a path and you can see where the sun is shining down just there that's where the main path is and what's interesting is people are walking past on that path and not seeing me at all um, which is fairly typical you know I'm wearing green and I'm, I'm in the bushes and you wouldn't expect someone to be out in the bushes but what we at Surrey Search and Rescue and all our lowland rescue colleagues do is train our dogs to find people um, up to about 30 meters from paths and that's what we call a level 2 or a route and path dog and they're trained to do up to about two kilometres on a given path. So I can hear some bells now. And I think Search Dog Woody will be wearing bells. There's another person walking past on the path up there who didn't see me. Um, but I don't think it's the search team. Certainly Search Dog Woody, he's a big heavy Labrador and you can generally hear him coming as he crashes through the bushes. One of the things that strikes me as I sit here um, doing one of these training exercises waiting for the dogs is, is actually just how isolated you can feel and how you can be so close to members of the public 29 metres in my case and yet they have no idea you're here and if I was an elderly dementia sufferer or a lost child or someone unable to communicate or call for help, then it really would take a specialist search dog or a specialist search team to find me here, even this close to a major footpath in an area of common land that's that had horses and dog walkers and, and people out for picnics uh, today. Uh, really brings it home how important the, the UK's rescue services, Lowland Rescue, Mountain Rescue are, um, and just how the hours that the, the dog handlers and the foot teams and um, the, the search planners and the bike teams, how, how important the hours those guys put in from their own time um, um, all add up to uh, you know making people a little bit safer um, and, and saving lives. Okay, this is definitely Woody. Uh, so I can hear some bells coming. I can see his handler. Just over there. Just off the path, and they're sort of circling around me at the moment. There you go, he spotted me. What he's doing now is he's thinking about his handler. Big brute. What his handler's doing is deliberately walking away because his handler wants a very, very strong alert. And Woody's alert is to jump up at his handler. And once he's alerted his handler, he'll come back to me, make sure his handler's following. Now you gotta show me where. Where is he? Oh, there's a clever boy! And his reward is his ball. Oh, the clever boy! Oh, ho, ho, ho.